Hello guys, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to cover a very critical question that is, shall I fake my resume? So this is the main question we are going to look into. This is Bakshu from Merit Pros. People ask this question a lot and I am sure that at some point in your career, you have also got this question. You have also faced this question. Let's face this question and find out best practices and best answer. Then going forward, Sometimes people fake their resume for below reasons. There are a number of reasons. Here I have like few important ones. Adding real-time experience for a land tool or new tool in the market or covering a non-working gap. Let's say you have like a two years gap or three years gap. Whenever there is a gap, sometimes people are afraid of showing that gap in the resume then adding fake work experience as a fresher so as a fresher it is hard to get into the industry it is hard to get a job so whenever they have like a gap so when it takes more time to get a job so that inactive period that non-working period they show as experience so adding fake work experience as a fresher so in short term this is going to help you and benefit you but when you consider long run and bigger picture it is not going to help you there are a number of issues so one is poor performance in the work definitely because you don't have real time experience so because of the fake experience so you're going to have poor work performance then background verification may fail so if your employer is going for very thorough and detailed background verification sometimes it may fail then general fear and low confidence due to faking resume so this is quite common and generally people are going to have this then going forward what is the industry standard what is the general recommendation the industry standard is or the industry recommendation is never fake your resume so it is not a good practice don't do that then what to do so let's look into possible solutions let's say that you have learned a new tool in the market or let's say that from manual testing to automation testing you want to change the career so whatever you have learned a tool or mastered a tool but you don't have real-time experience for that but for the job you need the real-time experience the recruiters are looking for real-time experience let's take a situation here a real life uh, proper situation let's say that you are a manual tester and you have five years of manual testing experience now you want to switch to selenium you want to switch to web automation then automation testing career you have learned selenium java and web automation so now you are a master in web automation with selenium and java but you don't have real-time experience this is like your hands-on experience your practical experience make sure that when you are learning make sure that you have got a very good tutor you need to make sure that you have live projects in the training and whatever you are learning that is pretty much real time whatever happens in the real world the real time scenarios coding challenges automation challenges you are also facing that and you are learning so don't just learn theory part or just go through the documentation learn the real time coding and real time part learn the real time coding and real time automation and face those challenges face those difficulties and then master them so make sure that whatever you are learning that is close to real time that is like you are mimicking real time then how to represent that in your resume so it's like you have mastered the tool you have experience that is uh, exactly same as real time experience or or you have like very good hands on experience but you don't have official work experience so how to represent that in your resume i would recommend these steps add a section like selenium automation hands-on experience to get recruiters attention and then to stand out from others so with this like so add this section after summary or after profile so that you are highlighting your hands-on experience and you are standing out from others from the crowd of a uh, lot of uh, job applicants then mention your live projects and the site use this is like the proof mention your experience and how you automated the test scripts so like uh, your responsibilities or i automated like this or i have used page object model and then i have implemented data driven framework so whatever you have learned or mastered so whatever you did so mention those uh, responsibilities 
then give reference to your github repositories this is going to like build up the confidence this is going to show the proof that you have actually learned the tool and you have mastered the topics then one good thing is certifications so here do java certification or if there are like official certification from industry providers do those so these certifications are like proof to your experience to your knowledge so you can represent all this hands-on experience in your resume like this then going forward okay so i have a question for you so what is number one risk of faking your resume so you can see a man hanging and then uh, sharks are going around that so what is your number one risk so which shark are you afraid of that so mention in the comment section let's see that then going forward we are done with representing the hands-on experience in resume now let's say how to handle the questions for hands-on experience or new reland tool in the interview so now let's look at the interview part so within the interview you are getting questions from the land tool or from the hands-on experience how to handle that first thing don't be afraid be confident you already know about this situation so you are facing this so be prepared to face this then say that you have done few live projects and got hands-on experience explain your experience and match that to the job spec this is really important because recruiters are looking for people who are like uh, who are going to deliver as per the job spec so whatever you are explaining your experience implementation details explain and match that to the job spec show your confidence and ability to quickly learn and adapt as per the job because this is continuous improvement process even when you get a job there can be changes there can be new tools new updates so make sure that you are like a quick learner make sure that you are showing your ability to quickly learn and adapt to the changes show your confidence and then make sure that you are showing your genuine interest to work for the company and also make sure that and also place yourself in a position that you are the best candidate for the job compared to others so handle the interview in this way then let's hope that interviewers also they are going to do their best and then they get convinced with you and then happy to hire you so you have delivered your best let's hope that interviewers are also going to deliver their best and then they are going to hire genuine and talented people then going further i have suggestion for the interviewers so interviewers need to change and then make sure that they are hiring genuine and talented people they need to improve the hiring processes and they need to change few things so that they are reducing faking stuff like faking resume or faking experience okay team then we are done with this question subscribe to our channel like the video comment on the video and share uh, with your friends and in your network then you can ask your question in the comment section any question or questions related to a uh, fake experience or fake resume or best practices ask in the comment section definitely uh, we are going to answer that and help you okay thank you for watching this video see you in the next one